Hey guys, welcome back to Beast in the Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Ricky, and this is TCAM TV. So basically now we're in summer. I know summer hasn't been, you know, we've been in quarantine for a little bit and we're kind of limited to what we can do, but I know you're still having some parties at the house and this is gonna be something that you're gonna wanna bring. No more box pasta salads, no more taking the Italian dressing, shaking it and throwing it in pasta and threw some frozen peas in it. I'm talking about a spicy noodle salad and we're gonna get started right now by dicing up, slicing up some peppers. Usually I do an orange, a red, and a yellow. No yellow steak because I couldn't find any. So, And we're gonna just do this for a little bit. And one thing I always make sure to do is make sure there's no stickers on it because those are annoying. Hey, there's a baby one in there. Here we go, we got peppers all set. We're gonna heat up here our skillet on a medium high. Now, usually with the oil, I like to use like a grapeseed or a peanut oil because it's got a high smoke point. If you don't have either one of those, olive oil will work just fine. So don't go crazy buying extra stuff that you don't need. That's what my cooking segment's all about, about using stuff first, what you have. And in my house, I always have plenty. Now, after we're gonna do the dressing for this, I'm not gonna season these vegetables because there's gonna be a lot of seasoning in them and you'll, you'll see why. Now basically what we're gonna do is just get these nice and soft. These are the only vegetables in this that we're actually gonna cook. Toss them around for a bit, get them all coated in the oil. That's heating up. I'm grab another skillet. I know I have hidden around here somewhere. Because we need to toast some peanuts for this. So I'm gonna just eyeball it and call it a cup. That's about right. Nothing in the pan with it, just as it is, because we're just trying to toast these a little bit. And get this is starting to get going. We'll come right back and we'll start putting this all together. Every day, you make lots of decisions about food. Understanding what the Nutrition Facts label is telling you will help you make smart choices. First, check out calories. When comparing foods, remember, 400 calories or more per serving is high, and 100 calories per serving is moderate. Choose the food with lower calories. Next, look at serving size. One package may contain more than one serving, so be sure to check. And finally, use the Nutrition Facts label to compare foods and choose nutrients wisely. Look for foods that are lower in certain nutrients, like sugars, saturated fat, and sodium. If you're trying to see if a food is high or low in a certain nutrient, for example, sodium, check the percent daily value, also known as percent DV. Here's an easy tip. 5% DV of a nutrient per serving is low. 
20% DV is high. Use percent DV to make smart choices. So pay attention to what the nutrition facts label on your food is saying. It will tell you about calories, serving size, and nutrients. That's how you can make smart choices that can help you feel great. You'll win every time. For more information, visit www.fda.gov slash nutrition education. Hey guys, welcome back. We got these nice and soft. I just took it off the heat, but it's still cooking. So we're gonna let that cool down a bit. I said, look, probably not as soft as you'd want them, but I like vegetables a little bit more crunchier. So it depends on you. So now is the dressing that actually goes with this. And we're gonna get started on that. And this one's pretty simple. I know it looks like a lot, it looks overwhelming, but it's not. So let me grab something that I'm gonna need here, whisk. I'm gonna start with some peanut butter. This is about a tablespoon or heaping tablespoon as I like to call it. There we go. There we go, we got some sesame oil, about a tablespoon. Agave nectar, a little more sweetness, which I like using. If you didn't have this, you could use honey. That would work too. Now this is a half a cup of, use the low sodium soy sauce for this one. You don't want to make it too salty. We got a fourth cup of balsamic vinegar, which I like to use a lot as well. And considering this is called spicy noodle, we got some sriracha, tablespoon and a half. But go as more or less as you would like. Come on, you. What else are we gonna add? We're gonna add some citrus to this as well. Juice and, and the rinds of limes, two limes, as a matter of fact. Now you don't wanna go down too deep, don't start hitting the white. So just go one pass on each side. I don't try this, but you could do this in a, a blender. I just do it with a whisk. And you wanna use the regular peanut butter, not chunky for this. A lot easier to whisk around. Now my advice I take, I would like to give you, since I was there this morning, get your Tupperware you're gonna bring to someone's party from Dollar Tree. This way, if you have to leave it behind, it was only a dollar. And that's what I did. My nice Dollar Tree Tupperware, which I already made fettuccine pasta in it. I usually use Asian noodles, or adobo noodles, or anything like that, but this is what I had at the house, so I figured I'd use that. We are gonna, since we have a full kitchen, I kinda gotta use the whole place. Move right, on. Now we had our vegetables we softened up earlier. I like using these gloves better than tongs because it's easier to mix around. 
And one thing, you're not gonna put, I would suggest doing the dressing separate. As opposed to getting it all, make it when you get there at the person's house. Because what I wanna do is, if I can find it. So basically, easiest way, go to the place, see what they're using for utensils. Person makes it. Give it another shake or whisk. You can get nice plastic bottles at Dollar Tree as well. Now I do really like shopping there. They don't pay me a dime to say that. So, add what we need. Kick things around if you need to. Those peanuts I had earlier, I toasted. Just a rough chop, not a fine chop. Just break them up is basically what I'm doing. Where do you think you're going? Some peanuts. Got some cilantro. Grab a few leaves. Messy table. That's what makes this cooking show different than everybody else's. <laughs> what you see is what you get. A little cilantro. Oh, so we got some, there's all these, some green onion to garnish. This part. And that, what we call, what these are the arts, so not bad, huh? All she wrote. Hey guys, see, simple, easy and anything else in between, in other words, I just can't think of. So, all right, guys, uh, I'll see you guys next week. If you got any ideas, something you wanted me to do on a show that you don't know how to make or whatnot, I can research. It's rickyfeedstheworld at yahoo.com or chefricardocosta at gmail.com. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Take care. Bye-bye.